Hey, what's up guys? Andre from Beefu Techie here with another tutorial for streaming on your Mac with your already purchased capture devices. Now, I know a lot of you guys pretty much are trying to start streaming using the capture device you have, whether it be an LGP, uh, Hophog HTP VR, or even the Elgato Game Capture, but realize that you can only do straightforward streaming. Or if you want to use something like Cam Twist, you would actually have to like screen cap it and things like that. Well, I'm here to basically show you guys a new method of actually streaming using those devices and just using it with something such as Coco Split. Now, the maker of Coco Split made this new program called Siphon Inject, which I'm basically going to open right now. Um, basically, what this does is it screen caps what's needed to be screen cap without using anything extra on your CPU. So what I'm going to do is basically select what I want to use because I'm using Rec Center because I'm definitely using the Avermedia LGP. I'm going to inject there. Then I'm going to go ahead and open up Coco Split. Mind you, we could also close out Siphon Inject. Um, we're going to set up Coco Split so that this way we can actually utilize um, the the f setup that we're about to use. So for the type you're going to choose Siphon, which I always use automatically because whenever I'm doing a tournament and stuff like that, I rather use Siphon because Siphon uses less CPU than QT capture or even AV foundation. So we're going to use Siphon, we're going to click on sources and as you can see there Rec Center is there, it's injected Siphon. Okay? And then we're all pretty much set for video. Now for audio, we're going to have to set our audio to Soundflower. Now Soundflower is another program that you could download over at Cycling74, but if you really need the direct link, it's going to be in the description. Um, once you set up, once you install Soundflower, you'll be able to actually um, set that as your default audio, so that this way all your audio from your desktop goes to Soundflower, which is what you're going to end up having to do now. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your sound in system preferences, go to output, select your default output to Soundflower 64 or 2 channel, depending on what you want to do. It doesn't matter. I like doing 64 because for some weird reason, I feel 64 is better. So, now that audio is there, video is there, we can go ahead and click the stream. But, if you want to add your mic in, you're more than welcome to do that as well. So if you wanted to do something like that, you could actually purchase this program. It's for $29.99, I believe. It's like $30 for it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up the audio sources so that this way your input device, whether you're using a line in, you're going to use the mic, the mic that's on your MacBook or your Mac iMac or your MacBook Retina, Whatever it is that you're using, you could go ahead and use that. Um, I'm going to use line in since I have something plugged in to the line in from my mixer. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure the output is set to Soundflower64, which is the same thing that it is here. We're going to click hijack, and my voice and everything else should be going into Coco Split via Soundflower. So now, all I have to do now, once I already set up my stream keys and everything else, I can just go ahead and click on stream. Now as you guys can see, it's pretty much already going. So now I could just go ahead, play my game as it is intended to, and we can um, get this game going. But as you guys can see, everything is going fine. Audio is going straight through there, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to play for a little bit and then I'm going to cut to the actual Twitch stream because it should be up at this point because I know it takes a little bit of time, but it's not up yet because I know no one has to actually stop streaming. Uh. All right, let, let's go back to KI for a little bit, just for a little. By the time my stream shows up in Twitch, should be there and we should be able to hear all the audio
you guys are probably hearing my voice echoed. But if you're hearing it echoed, that just basically means that it's working, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do survival. I didn't want to do beginner. I'll do veteran. Only because I just want to get through this quickly. If I go back to Twitch. Yep. Eight channels. Should be nine now. There's my channel. Don't hear my voice, but it should be there. <coughs> my voice is probably too low. Let's see. Yep, that would be it. It's muted. Mic check, one, two, three. Mic check, one, two, three. Okay, so I can hear myself now. So, there it is. All you have to do is just make sure that the audio is set correctly and it's all done. All right, so that pretty much does it for the tutorial. I'd like to say thanks for watching and um, be sure to uh, follow the channel so that this way you guys can get some more tips on streaming, whether it be from a Mac or from a PC. Thank you.